Hey y'all, this is Koi here from Ray of Gratitude coming at you with, guess what? New moon, oh, I almost said full moon, new moon in Libra. So today is the new moon in Libra, or at least where I'm recording this. And um, this is all about the message I got because I'm actually recording this after I did the reading. Um, the message, the main message I got was really, we're at a time where we have to feel through exactly what it is that we want, really feel deeper into our emotions so we can then in turn um, work on ways towards grounding that in our reality, feeling secure within ourselves so we can actually, you know, work with other people and, and not feel victimized when working with partners, you know, um, relationships, all types of things. So, of course, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing. I want you to check out the reading. Um, you can skip this if you've already heard this spiel. But thank you for the newcomers that are here in the building. I love doing chakra readings every full moon and new moon. Um, it's something that I do for personal readings. Um, you can check out the links below. They are for my services, for my intuitive messages that I have with my card readings. Whether it's a chakra reading, whether it's a creative spirit reading, or just something that you want to create customly and have specific questions to get down to the nitty gritty with my intuitive card readings, my services that I have. So um, if you're feeling the vibe, please subscribe and check out what we have and what this collective energy is going on during this time in New Moon in Libra. Let's do this. We're going to talk about what chakras for the collective is going, was it should be looked into, be focused on um, healing and aligning and balancing. We'll do that first and then we'll talk about this new moon energy, what is coming in. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right. So these two cards came through. Very, 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 very interesting. Um, I'm getting so many messages right now. I really wanted to get one. I don't know what this is about, but I do feel like there was a need for me to do this. Um, so soulmate, this is interesting too, because we're in the energy of Libra right now for this new moon energy and Libra energy um, likes to balance things. And when it comes to soulmate energy, there's always this balance and alignment with your masculine and feminine energy. We can get into twin flame, swim flame all day, every day. But the fact of the matter is, no matter what type of soulmate it is, because we have numerous ones, we're always aligning with that other um, energy, you know, that yin and that yang energy here. And I'm really feeling like, <laughs> I'm really feeling like there are some people here that are understanding certain types of ways that their heart has been closed to a lot of things. In this one, this is the green chakra. And that's your heart chakra, right? This is your red chakra. This is all about balancing and grounding in that energy, feeling safe within yourself, safe within connecting with your soul, as well as connecting with soulmates. Because for instance, you can be with your soulmate. Let me tell you something. But if the other is out of balance and not trusting, you know, on to the next. And it allows the other person to grow and just like any relationship, you know, the next, the other person may grow, move forward, expand, but the other person hasn't expanded yet. It's all about energy, you know, soul matching to soul, basically, you know, soulmate is like soul match and you're matching that frequency. And many times, you know, since we are naturally always dealing with some type of relationships, whether it's platonic, whether it's sexual, 
whether it's family, you know, whether it's co-workers. We're always dealing with some type of relationship. And also, when we deal with other people, most importantly, we have to know and figure out our choices that we make with other people. I mean, it's very important to know the choices you make alone. But when you understand that you're affecting other people from the choices that you're making, that's when you start understanding the relationship and how to keep it healthy, you know? Because for, for so long, honestly, I know I've been in a lot of unhealthy relationships. And it took for me to be alone to really help heal and be healthy within myself so I can do better um, and connect better and understand and want that healthy and, and know what a healthy relationship is. You know what I mean? And this is what I'm talking about with the heart chakra. Some of you guys, your heart chakra is closed. You could be with your soulmate, you know, twin flame or whatever, your divine partner. But when your heart is closed, that doesn't help anybody. It doesn't. It just adds more confusion to things and adds more um, energy of control and clinging on to things that need to expand and grow and be released. So let me see. I'm using my heart cards here. <laughs> Self-love cards that I made myself from a ring of gratitude. They're not quite on the internet right now, but um, yeah, let's get one more since there's two. If any other one wants to come out, let's do one more. Is there any other messages that want to come out for this channel? Okay, maybe not. So this says on the back, do you remember why you're mad? You know, is, is pride keeping you there? Many times pride can keep us separated from our soulmate, like I was talking about. You know, I do feel like for any of you that aren't in any type of relationship, this pertains to what type of relationship you have with yourself. Are you accepting their behavior because you understand their pain or feel bad for them? Um... To people that are in relationships, no matter what type of relationship is, let whatever applies, apply, right? Are you accepting people's behavior? Many times people do um, have a lot of tricks and games up their sleeve and have not matured and understood how to treat somebody. You know, the saying of treat somebody as how you would want to be treated does not apply to somebody that's immature because they really don't understand how they want to be treat, uh, treated. So many times they may know how they don't want to be treated, right? But when we're talking about soul levels and esoteric types of things, it's it's really about the energy and the frequency that we're dealing with. So if you keep saying, well, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want that, you know, you do tend to attract that because now you keep saying, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, right? And then you not wanting is, is telling the universe that you're closed off, right? So then it's like kind of like a, a story someone told me, don't, don't ask for patience because you're always going to get the type of people that are going to test your patience. Because when you're dealing with relationships, when you're dealing with other things, when you're dealing with the universe and your soul, it talks about, it's about learning. It's about ascending. It's about learning the lessons that we need to move forward, you know, so we um, can release old karma and move forward. You know, this is what we're here for. And when you're continuing playing games, you're on this cycle, this cycle of old things. And until you understand how to break out of that cycle, then you start evolving, right? Um, I'm just hearing repeat or evolve. Let me take a deep breath real quick because I'm feeling like there's a lot of messages coming through. Are you accepting your own behavior and saying, is it okay? Like, this is just the way it's going to be. So what? Who cares? You know, inviting your mind to play tricks on you and um, just being in some type of cycle that does not serve your growth, your soul growth, your, your higher vision, your purpose for who you are and what you came to shine light on. 
I did forget to say, and I do want to remember to close with saying this, but since it's just popped in my head, my light sees the light within you. If my light is shining and I want to connect with my soul tribe and the people that understand me, I have to shine my light so that frequency can come align and match, right? Just like if I'm trying to manifest something, just like I'm trying to um, create something. Many times we feel stuck because we're not understanding what it is that we're still holding on to but still having our hand out to receive. This is the story of um, the dragon and the, the um, squirrel in this story here. I love these little chakra books. I don't really want to read it right now, but actually I feel like I need to read the soulmate one though. <laughs> As I said, I don't want to. I just felt the need to read the red one. All right. So, okay, here we go. A rose without thorns. Is it time to face my true feelings? So look, check this out. It's a, um, a little quick story. It's time for him to leave her again. To use the script he always does at this point. He even knows her next line. She will say, how can you do this to me? But unexpectedly, she says, I love you. The words of the script die on his tongue. He struggles to get them out. Just a few words and he will be free, but they won't come. Suddenly he collapses. He collapses her to him. Am I reading this right? He loves her. <laughs> this is true freedom he sought. So this is interesting. So they have inspiration. To enjoy the beauty of a rose, we must risk being pricked by our inner thorns. This offers a new way to live. And in, Okay, so I'm just going to leave this right here. Keywords are authenticity, treasure, and trust. And this is going back to grounding this energy, feeling secure within yourself, feeling secure within your relationship, all right? So let's talk about yourself. If you are constantly being like that guy and just playing games, right, and accepting things for what is, and just like being so used to being hurt, you don't even know how to respect the rose. You see the thorns and you say, okay, that's a thorn, but I'm not going to pick this rose up because I can't respect it. So you play these games and these trickery and all this stuff, just like the story was saying how like he even knows how she's going to respond. But this time, this time, the partner, the partner grew. The partner evolved and the partner tapped into love. True authenticity. True unconditional love, which is, it permeates all fear, shame, guilt, all that stuff. It really does. This, they, they have a scale. I don't remember what this scale is called, but there is, our emotions are scaled on these frequencies of low vibes and high vibes. And um, our chakras react and interact with this here. So if your chakra is blocked in the root chakra, that means that you have all these insecurities going on here that's weighing you down, but also blocking things that are from a higher um, frequency to come into your space and reality, right? And your heart chakra is the center. It's the center of all of this. It's the center that um, degates and negates. I don't even use those words, but that wanted to come through. And help you understand, too, like what ideas, information, knowledge, wisdom, all that is coming down into your chakra so you can act on that. Or what's being blocked, you know? Are you aligned with the divine energy? In this case, he wasn't. But when that love came through, it just overpowered that. And he felt free. He felt free enough to see he felt free enough to see what he was really trying to say, as well as he saw his light within him. She shined her light and his light grew within him. Namaste. That's kind of what namaste means in a way. Like my light within me sees the light within you. Um, If you're not in a relationship, right? 
This is about honoring yourself, respecting the thorns that grow as the as a way of protection, you know, um, as you blossom into this beautiful rose here and protection from yourself of, of faulty things, <laughs> trickery things that aren't serving you anymore, but you keep saying, yeah, this is okay. This is not right. Like, why are you accepting your behavior and thinking it's okay? Um, to not go through the pain, to transmute that pain, to release that pain, right? You have to feel the pain in order to release it. You can't just be like, oh, I want to release this and don't know what you're trying to release, right? Um, so right now, I feel like there's a need for us to find a, very, a lot of truth and just figure out and sit on one scale, right? Because Libra has two scales that finds balance. It's okay if one is unbalanced, right? But figure out what is causing the imbalance so you can bring that balance in to your reality, all right? I know that took a while. It felt kind of constipated, y'all. <laughs> but um, I'm glad I got that out because it felt like I was just getting so much energy off of the cards, which is just, I don't know. Let's go into this. So what do we what do we need to know right now as a collective here? Like what am I really talking about, right? Because we have the heart chakra, we have the um root chakra, and this is about bridging the gap. Yeah. I think I might call it that. Bridging the gap. Because there's a gap. There's there's your empowerment, your willpower to do and take action to things and your creativity and your emotions and um sensuality that are in between your solar plexus and your um sacral plexus is in between the heart and the root chakra okay y'all i'm giving y'all some one-on-one -on -one here with these chakra messages because <laughs> this is what i like to do i'm i've always been into um metaphysics and energy and understanding what chakras are when i first came became knowledgeable about this <laughs> when I was a massage therapist. And in massage school, they do not tell you all this stuff. Trust and believe it's a long road of um, understanding. But um, I'm saying all that to say, though, there's a road that many of us are embarking right now. And we're trying to find our path, our way. And many of us may be like, oh, I don't know, do I have everything I need? And some of y'all are like, F it, two tears in a bucket, let's go. <laughs> like, I'm tired of this crap. Like, I'm ready to start new, new slate, new energy, new person, new me. Like, this is kind of like, I'm feeling like this might be your new year right now. Um, But also by me saying that too, you may be manifesting things that you were manifesting back in April, which is Aries energy. And that's the opposite um, of Libra. Just saying. Aries is very independent, right? It is very independent. Libra is very dependent. <clears throat> but when they're balanced, it's healthy. When they're not balanced, it's unhealthy. You know, that codependency, it's not, it's not good. You know, they don't. But let me get back on track here. What do you need to be open to right now? You know, what do we need to be open to receiving? Ooh, y'all saw that. <laughs> y'all saw that. Three of swords is, 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 ugh, look at this. Look at it. It's not nice. You know, it's bleeding black blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's rain, it's cloudy. But it literally did like this and went down here. We are releasing these behaviors that we are not accepting anymore. No matter what type of relationship you're in, or if you're in isolation mode and you're just dealing with yourself, you need to understand that I am not accepting these old belief systems that I've been playing out and reacting from within myself as within other people. You know, that I'm feeling like this fiery energy where it's like, no is no. I'm tired of this old crap. 
there's something new that I need to do, but my heart has been weighing me down. And in, like I said, too, in order to balance that, you need to understand what is the other side need? What does this side need to let go of? That's just the way of the universe. In order to gain something, you have to let something go. Whether it's something physical, you know, or whether it's something mental, emotional, you have to let something go in order to receive something. You know, because then that's where the new energy comes in. Something old can be transmuted. It can be transformed into something. You know, water can be transformed into ice. But it actually still changes the form. And I think even the molecules change. I don't really know because this is a chemistry class. But it does, it changes. Okay. So two of wands here. This is how we're going to ground this energy in. Look, in three of wands. We're doing a lot of planning here right now. There's there's a need for us to sit down and understand our emotions. Like, for sure, for sure. It really is. Because um, there's a lot of, like, new energy that wants to come in. But you're not going to quite get that. It might come in bits and pieces. Or you might just keep seeing out of a distorted glass. Because, you know, a shattered heart um has a lot of distortions within their emotions and their feelings it really does right a broken heart but if you can mend that heart together if you can overcome the heartache the aches and the pains are you ready for love so i have vision Keep your vision, you all. Like, there's, I know that many of you that are watching this are really like, I want to get going. There, I, I know what I need to do. For some of you, the vision is kind of cloudy, but there's a need to release some, some energy. There's definitely a need to release some energy. Yep. And you're going to release it through change. Allowing change to come in and allowing um, change to... Not be fearful and feel like it's controlling your life for the worst. But allowing the flow of change to come in and um, surrendering to new possibilities and opportunities. Grounding. Yeah. So... As you see, she has like, she has a crown. She's understanding, just like I was saying too. If your root chakra is really blocked, everything that you're receiving from the crown chakra will be pretty much distorted in a way. It has to, you have to feel it through first off. And then when you feel through that, then you have to feel secure within yourself, you know, and you can have the vision, but when it's really like understanding the vision, you have to understand and see the path. You know, that's what having that insight, that foresight, having that balance can really do for you. Um, you know, because your mind's eye too connects with the creativity. You can have that visual um, or just that knowing, you know what I mean? But if you cannot understand it there's just a lot of heavy energy y'all i'm just feeling like there's a lot of heavy energy i feel like a lot of people are confused they're not understanding and aligning with their crown chakra and their root their um heart chakra you know let alone their root chakra there, i feel like the heart chakra is the gatekeeper here but there's a lot of people that may be you know, like, okay, I'm open, I'm ready to do this. But in order to do this, you have to want the change and you have to want to release it. And again, there's no, like, people say this, I think, is physical um, fitness coaches say this thing. There's no, there's no gain without pain, right? But I'm going to say this for emotionally wise. You can't, you have to feel what you need to release. 
And I know sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, your mind's like, oh, I don't want to go through this anymore. Like who wants to go back down memory lane that hurt me? But guess what? Perspective is everything. If you're if you're looking at it from that point of view, then you're like, okay, you're saying you don't want to change. You don't want to shed that skin. You know, you're not looking at it in as you're kind of looking at it as you're weak. You you know what I mean? If you look at it as you being strong, you being open to change and saying yes to change and saying yes, F what happened in the past. I went through this already. I just need to see it from a new lens of eyes here and say, you know what? I'm releasing this now. See it as the lesson is learned. Let me go back in one more time to put this last piece to the puzzle and say, I'm ending this right now. And the two of wands is after that is like, all right, now what? Now we plan, now we take action. I always think that the two of wands is, is really about a balanced way of taking action and um, waiting for what you know is right for you. You know, it's like she got her phone in her hand. She's waiting for the call, but she's looking out because she knows what to look out for because it's grounded. It's already there. It's grounded. So um, what card do I want to use to wrap this up? Let's get the gratitude attitude cards. I know we're already, what, almost 30 minutes. So thank everybody for being here still, you know, because I like to, um, I like to kind of teach a little bit, um, in these readings about chakras and also just give guidance and advice. This is what I like doing. I love connecting with spirit. I love connecting with my creativity in this way because many people think you know creativity is about you know the the usual arts right which i i do do <laughs> but it's not all that i do right so let's see let's see what messages we have to just wrap this up okay because there's you know, there's, I feel like as a whole, as a collective too, a lot of us, since we don't really know or interact with our emotions, many times we'll be like, what is this feeling? Like, why do I keep feeling like this? You know what I mean? And your heart and your mind really has to align. If your heart is saying one thing and your um, mind is saying another, it's like going to another country and really not knowing the language um you see you cannot heal in the same environment you got sick in that's what i was talking about with that perspective change you know of course if you're in if you're still in this vibration of that you're sick and wanting to heal but you're literally in an environment where there's breeding germs and all this stuff it doesn't align. It just doesn't happen, right? You got to get your tools, your utensils, the things that you need and having that mindset now that, hey, I want to heal. I want to do this and get out of that energy, get out of that place, whatever you're surrounding and get out of that perspective of that you're sick. Start knowing that you are healing. Start knowing that you are on your journey to wellness and start knowing that you will get better, Right? You had a purpose before anybody gave you an opinion. Those that are dealing with heartbreak, those that may have thought that they let go of their exes, those that may have thought that they let go of their, um, <laughs> excuse my French, dick face bosses, you know what I'm saying? That um, didn't understand you and treated you like crap, you know, or any other relationship in your your energy that's that's still subconsciously holding on to. Because many times we don't really know how to pinpoint it. But sometimes we can kind of pinpoint it if we look within. Your heart is inside of you, right? Look within. No, you're not really going to see your actual heart beating. But you're going to go within it and you're going to feel that. And you're going to know that everybody that said diddly squat about you, they don't know what's going on within you. And if you share that and show that with that, that person, guess what? That's the past. 
you're still a new person. And you're going to be another new person by learning new lessons to get those new blessings, okay? <laughs> if you guys know me, sometimes I get in this rhyming thing. I don't know where it comes from, but you know. Give yourself permission to be where you are right now. That is the most powerful thing you can do. Being present. Because actually, you can see the gift of that change actually happening. And, you know, you can actually direct it. I'm not going to say control the change. You can direct that energy within the present moment by knowing how you feel, by knowing what emotions are. Because your emotions are just energy in motion. When you have these stuck energies in motion or trying to get in motion, this is what creates the blocks and chakras here. When we can open and balance these chakras, the flow allows us to be more in our purpose, more living in our path that is meant for us, more feeling alive and ready to learn and live and grow within this life. Yes, there are so many crazy things happening in the world, but if you can understand how to be your best version of you, then you're one more blessing, one more light shining in the world to create and add on to um, better energy, right? So if you're feeling the vibe, please subscribe. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for those that are listening to the whole message. Please comment below if you hear and want to understand if this resonates with you. You know, if you're working on these chakras already, if you're wanting to know other ways on how to work with these chakras, comment. You never know how, how I will respond. <laughs> I always like to respond, but you'll never know how I'll respond. So, um, also I have events coming up that are great for getting your creative energy into the flow of things and helping you align yourself, align with your path and just have your heart chakra aligned and, and feel through what you're going through as well. Um, and if you're thinking about getting a personal reading, please check me out. I have chakra readings. I have creative spirit readings. And if any of those don't really fit, custom reading always works for you because you can customize whatever you want, whatever questions you may have, and we can come up with some answers and guidance to um, move in a new way. All right, so peace and love to everyone. Again, namaste. The light within me sees the light within you. And um, check out more videos. Like, so, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you next time. Peace.